What has independence meant for you particularly? Independence means a lot of things. First of all, a vision, a dream for the continent, for the whole continent. Not only uh, for Kwame Nkrumah, to Lumumba in Congo, and many, many other high personalities. So uh, we need model. And at that period, they got really model for the future of Africa. And uh, it, it, it must remain in the memory of uh, what one single young African must have in his mind that independence means something, mm. means sacrifice, mm. means also a vision, a real vision for the future of the continent, means the integration of the continent. We are one whole continent. All the Africans are equal. For people like you, who obviously are either holding positions of power or in contention for power, there is something good to say about independence. But what about the very ordinary Congolese, for example? A Congolese, for example, who might be living somewhere in Rushuro. Yeah, but uh, we are 80 million Congolese today. 65% mm -hmm. of the population is less than 20 years old. So it's a very young country. Well, we are very proud to be Congolese. It means something in the heart of all the citizens in my country. Mm -hmm. We are Congolese. Even if we faced violence, many problems, we remain Congolese. A big country, a huge country in the middle of Africa. Mm. We are the heart of Africa and we are very proud to be Congolese. Th that's what the independence. So no matter what, uh, you feel that you are much better off, for example, than you were under Belgian colonialism. We are free today. You are Even free. if we are facing problems, violence, peace, instability, lack of education, lack of uh, public health, we have many problems, but we are independent. And now we are going to forge our own process for the democratization to get good institution, and it depends on the leadership. We have an opportunity, this. we are at a crossroads in Congo, we are going to change the leadership and for sure we will promote a new vision and a new leadership for the Congo. So uh, you have good examples in Africa, Senegal, Ghana, Tanzania, Bena, Cap Verde, many good examples, Tanzania, but also bad practices, Burundi, Rwanda, Congo Brazzaville, those who are changing their constitution to remain in power, Zimbabwe, okay, we have to choose now. And it's up to the population, the sovereignty is in the hand of the population.